Abracadabra is a production of the West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine and its Healthy Children's Initiative, working for a healthier West Virginia. Additional funding for this program is provided by Charleston Area Medical Center, the heart and soul of healthcare. Learn more about our 5210 campaign to keep kids healthy on the web at camc.org forward slash kids. Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield West Virginia, offering affordable insurance products for all your needs. Find the right coverage for you. Visit highmarkbcbswv.com. We've got you covered. West Virginia Mutual Insurance Company, working every day with physicians and the entire healthcare community to improve public health. For more information, visit us online at wvmic.com. And by the Brick Street Foundation, proud to support local organizations that make a positive difference, helping communities grow to their fullest potential. For more information, visit us online at brickstreetfoundation.org. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Abracadabra. And introducing Joey's Leafanatic. Leafanatic? Yes, sir. You see, I open up the Leafanatic, I place a leaf in, and I gently press on it. That's gently? Yeah. And voila, a pressed leaf. A pressed leaf? Sure. It's a great keepsake, and you can use it in a scrapbook, and it's only $2.99. Two ni- Joey, you can't do that. Uh, too much money? Okay, uh, one dollar. Joey's Leaf Fanatic, one dollar. Oh, Joey, not only that, it also works on handkerchiefs. Look, I open up the Leaf Fanatic, place the handkerchief in, gently press. <sighs> and no wrinkles. Leaf Fanatic, one dollar, and I'll throw in the handkerchief. Joey, what? You can't sell this on the air. Oh, besides, we have to entertain the boys and girls out here. Oh. I can't sell it on the air. Oh, uh, wait, I have a great idea. Call after the show, and it'll be yours for 50 cents. Joey's Leaf Fanatic. Oh, Joey. <laughs> Let's play the grocery shelf game. When you go to the grocery store, there are lots of items on the shelves. Which ones should you choose? Here are the items on the shelf today. Which one should I put in my grocery basket? Should I put in the nacho chips? No! No, because they're high in fat. How about the low-fat cottage cheese? Yes! Yes, because it is low in fat. How about the salsa? Yes, because it is low in fat and low in sugar. How about the French onion dip? No! No, because it has lots of fat in it. And how about the baked tortilla chips? Yes! Yes, because they're low in fat because they've been baked. Well, those are the three items in my grocery basket. When you go to the grocery store and pick the healthy items on the shelves, you'll always be a winner. Oh, it's time for a magic trick. Oh, it's Gail Mansion. Hi, Mike. How Hi. are you? How are you, Mrs. Mansion? I'm great. I just brought you some fresh fruits and vegetables out of my garden. Oh, well, thank you so much. It's fun to grow the food you eat. It's easy to grow, and it makes you healthy and helps you grow. Wow, that's great. I hope the boys and girls will try growing the fruit in their own garden. 
And I hope they'll eat fresh fruits and vegetables every day. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, I, I was kind of hoping that maybe you would show me a magic trick while I was here. Oh, I'd love to. I'd be honored. Um, I have a deck of cards right here, as a matter of fact. And um, I also have a little box. Notice it has a card in it. It says for emergency only. That's just in case the trick doesn't work. Okay. Oh, okay. To that. Um, I'm going to show you my deck of cards. Okay. Let's see the cards. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I'd like you to choose any card that you'd like. Okay. All right. I'm going to pick the king. King. Okay, that's fine. Now, just to make sure that we know that that is your card, I want you to put your name or initials or something real okay. big on it so we can see it. Okay, that's perfect, and show that to Perfect, so there it is with my initials. Great, now can you put that on top of the deck? I can. All right, don't forget the card. I... Well, I guess we can anyway, you have your name on it, right? That's right, that's right. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut the cards. Okay. I'm gonna put them behind my back. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try to see if I can tell how far down in the deck your card is going to be. All right? Wow. Okay, I don't know if I can do that, but I'm gonna try. Hmm. I think I have it. I think your card is the tenth card down. Why don't you okay. count out the cards? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Is that your card? Oh nine. no! Wait a moment. That's not. Well, maybe maybe it's the next one. Okay, ten and then right. The card. Maybe it's okay. I, well. The, it doesn't have my initials on it. No. That's very strange, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that is very, very strange. Very strange, actually. Well, you hmm. know, remember I told you that we had an emergency card over here? Yeah. Right? Just right. in case. It sounds like we might have a little emergency right now. So mm -hmm. I'm going to take the card out, okay? And open up the card. And let's see. Oh! oh. Is that your card? It's my card. How, <laughs> How did you that? do that? Oh, that's magic. That's my card. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd love to stay, but I've got to get back to work. Well, thank you for bringing all the fruits and vegetables, and please say hello to the center for me. Will do. Okay. Thank oh, you, Mike. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Daisy? Oh, hi Mike, how are you? Daisy, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine, I'm just checking on clock. Um, what are you doing? Uh, what, Daisy? Oh, hi Mike! Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, where's your glasses? Glasses? Uh, I don't need my glasses anymore. You always wear your glasses. Not anymore. I've decided not to wear them anymore. Why not? Well, I was just tired of people teasing me. Teasing you? Yeah, you know, calling me four eyes or binocular face. Oh, I see. So after my glasses broke, I decided not to go back to the eye doctor and get a new pair. I don't really need them anyway. Well, but Daisy, you really need to go to the eye doctor. I'm sure she has other alternatives. Maybe contact lenses. Hmm. Well, I'll think about it, but I gotta get back to the garden shop. Bye. Bye, Daisy. Be, be careful. Mike, relax. I really don't need my glasses. Ow. Oh, boy. It's time to make a healthy choice. <laughs> It's time to play the Make a Healthy Choice game. I'm going to show you three products. You have to decide which one is healthier. Today, we have some sides. We have coleslaw, dill pickles, and olives. Which one would you choose? If you chose the dill pickles, you'd be correct. Dill pickles only have 24 calories per serving and no fat. The coleslaw has 41 calories per serving and about a half a teaspoon of fat. Two olives have 
73 calories and almost two teaspoons of fat. So the dill pickles are the healthy choice. Make a healthy choice at home and you'll always be a winner. Delicious! Does it say Mike? You know what time it is? No, Duck, what time is it? It's time to get on your feet. Oh. <laughs> it's time for more fun! Are you sure you can see okay enough to water Mike's plants, Daisy? Sure! See? Uh, watch out, Daisy! Oh, sorry! I didn't see you there, Megan! You really need to get some new glasses! No way! I don't want anyone calling me four eyes anymore! Hi, Salty. Am I glad to see you? Yeah. Uh, 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 I mean, of course, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Michael. Hello, Salty. Say, am I glad to see you? Okay. I'm glad to see you. You are? Well, uh, I'm glad to see you too. Oh. What on earth is he talking about? Never mind. Um, hello, Mr. Oops. Uh, yes, I have a new trick. Oh, hi, Mr. Oops. Well, well shiver me timbers, I'm not Mr. Oops. Mr. Oops is over there. Oh, oh, thanks, Salty. Ah, uh, yeah, you were saying, Mr. Oops? Uh, oh, yes, I have a new trick. I hate to ask, but what do you call this trick? Well, it has to do with saying yes four times in order to find the correct card. But I've given it a pirate theme. Oh! A pirate theme? Yes! <laughs> so tell me, Mr. Salty, how does a pirate say yes? Pirates say, I. I? I, I. Perfect! So instead of calling the trick the four yeses, I shall call it the four eyes. What? No, no! You know. <laughs> oh. 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 Daisy? Oh my goodness, what did I say? I. Has she gone bonkers? It's a long story. Oh. It's time for Professor Science! Hi boys and girls. Today I'm going to show you how to make a water thermometer. All you need is a plastic container with a cap, a straw, some clay, and hot water and some cold water. So the first thing you need to do is take the cap of the, of the water bottle and um, make a hole in it. That's to allow the straw to pass through it like this. Now I've already made up a water thermometer right here. As you can see, I put some water in the plastic container and I added some food coloring dye so that you can see the water better. And then I screwed on my cap, uh, which has the straw already in place, and then I sealed the straw to the cap using the clay. Now we're ready to start the experiment. But to get a good effect with this experiment, you need very hot water and you also need very cold water. 
So let's see what happens when I put the water thermometer into the very hot water. Watch what happens. Look at the straw. And sometimes this experiment takes a little bit of time to get the effect. But can you see? The water is going up the straw. Now watch what happens when I put the water thermometer in the ice water. And again, it can take a little bit of time, but can you see that the water is starting to slowly go down the straw? So what's going on is when I put the water thermometer into the really hot water, it caused the water in the straw to expand or get bigger. And then that forced the water up the tube. And then when I put the water thermometer in the cold water, the water contracted in the straw or got smaller and it went down the tube. So boys and girls, you can make a water thermometer at home, but you really need to have your mom or dad or an adult help you with this experiment. If you want to learn more about science, just go to our website. It looks like magic, but it's science. It's time for a quick trick. Can you take your magic wand and tap a nickel, change it to a penny? Sure you can. I'll show you how after this. Today's quick trick is brought to you by peas. Peas are a member of the legume family. The seeds grow in pods. There are three types of peas, green peas, snow peas, and snap peas. Canada is the largest world producer and exporter of peas. They grow about three million tons of peas each year. Peas are a great source of vitamin C. They also contain vitamin K and vitamin A. Peas also are high in fiber. Place those all together and you have the pea. Pack some fresh peas in your lunchbox for a special treat. And now here's the quick trick secret. For this trick, you're gonna need a nickel, a penny, a magic wand. You can use a regular magic wand or you can even use a pen. You're also gonna need some beeswax. You can take a little bit of the wax and place it to the tip of your pen or your magic wand. You cover the nickel over the penny and you're ready to begin. To perform, show the nickel Wave your magic wand over it, and as you touch the magic wand to the nickel, the beeswax holds the nickel in place, and you wind up with the penny. Let me show you how that looks in real time. There we go, watch real carefully. You see that? And that's the Quick Trick Secret. For more Quick Tricks, be sure to check out our website. In the meantime, try this at home for your friends and they'll think you're a magician. Daisy, why won't you go to the eye doctor like Mike said? Because I don't want to have to wear my glasses anymore. But Mike says that you could wear contact lenses. That way you can see and yet you won't be wearing glasses. But what if I go to the doctor and he tells me I can't wear contacts? Then what? Hi, Daisy. Look who I found outside. Oh, wait. You can't see them, can you? Not very well. Daisy needs to see the eye doctor. Come on, Daisy. You need to take care of your eyes. I get my eyes checked every year. It's important to protect your eyesight. You don't need to worry if things look too blurry. The eye doctor will make it right. He'll test your vision with careful precision and help to protect your eyesight. And if you need glasses to see in your classes, the eye doctor will make it right. You will see clearly if you get checked yearly and help to protect your eyesight. And sunglasses that look cool will help your eyesight to protecting your eyes when it's sunny. And eat food that's good for you like carrots and spinach too. They will help your eyes stay healthy. You don't need to worry if things look too
too blurry the eye doctor will make it right you will see clearly if you get checked yearly and help to protect your eyesight okay guys hand me the phone i'll call the eye doctor and make an appointment <laughs> It's time for more fun. <laughs> Would you like to see an illusion? Yeah! It's in the illusion room. Let's do an illusion with some balloons and my balloon box. Gentlemen and Daisy. There she is, back. <laughs> Say, clock, what time is it? Hmm, I like this one, but I also really like this one. Mm. What do you think, Mike? Well, I'll tell you what, Hannah. Why don't we start with this one? This is called Altissimo. Mm -hmm. And I'll put Spidora on hold for you until after you learn Altissimo. Okay, great. Can you show it to me now? Looks like you have an audience. Oh. Well then, let's do it. Okay, let's go. All right. Hi, kids. Hi, Hi, Mike. Mike. Hi, Hannah. Did he pick out a new trick, Hannah? Yes, this one's good. It took you long enough. Matthew, let's see it already. Mike? Okay, okay. This is called Altissimo. I have a deck of cards, and I've got some blank playing cards that I want you to see. See that? They're blank on one side. They have faces or backs, rather, on the other side. Okay. Now, um, Matthew, you take one of the blank cards, and Jordan, you take another blank card, and I want you to stare at this card and think of any playing card that you want. I'm going to take a pen, and I'm going to see if I can predict what cards you're going to select. Okay. okay, Jordan, you keep thinking of your card. I'm going to write it down. And I'm going to place that right here on the stand. Matthew, you ready? Okay, I'm going to think of your card. There we go. And I'm going to place that on the stand. Now, you have your choice of any of the cards in the deck. Okay. Here's the deck of cards. You can see there it's a regular deck of cards. Okay, Jordan, what card did you select? Three of hearts. Three of hearts. I'm going to take that card out of the deck and I'm going to place it on the stand. Matthew, your turn. What card? I had four of diamonds. Four diamonds. Let's see if we can find that. There's four diamonds. Okay. I'm going to place that on the stand. Now, you chose the three of hearts? Yes. You chose the four diamonds? Correct. Take a look at this. You see, I predicted both of those cards. Oh, wow. that's great. Wow. Yeah, that's a fun trick. Yes. Hey, everyone. Hey. Hi, Hi, Daisy. Daisy, your glasses are back on your face. We just got back from the eye doctor. Your glasses look great, Daisy. They sure do. Thanks. I like them a lot. At least you're not bumping into everything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't understand. I thought you were going to the eye doctor to get contact lenses. That's what I thought, too. Well, the eye doctor told Daisy that she could get contact lenses, but she didn't want them. Hmm, why not? Well, the doctor said that I could get contacts anytime I wanted, but I decided that I liked my glasses a whole lot better. They're what makes me me. And who cares what people call me? They don't have to like it, I do. Good for you, Daisy. Say, why don't we go to the kitchen to make a healthy snack? And this time, I can see what I'm doing. That's a great yeah. idea. Yeah. Come on, yeah. let's go. Daisy? We're looking for a snack. A healthy snack. Oh, well, you're just in time. I'm making a snack house. A snack house? <laughs> Sounds like fun. As long as you can eat it. <laughs> How do you make them? Well, first you start with four cheese cubes, like this, and you put them on a plate. 
Then, Kate, can you take two pieces of celery and stack them on the cheese? Yeah, just like that. And Hannah, can you grab two pieces of carrots and turn them sideways and stack them? Sure. Yeah. Timmy, can you get two pieces of cucumber? See how it looks like a house? Mm. I'm gonna take two pieces of apple and put it on top and then finish it with four more cheese cubes. And there is the snack house. Oh, mm. Looks good. Let's dig in. Go ahead. Each house serves four servings and each serving has less than 100 calories. It contains fiber, vitamins A, and calcium. <laughs> this is good. I'm so glad that Daisy finally got to the eye doctor. At least she can see again. <laughs> yes. What are you going to put in your journal today, Joey? Well, today I learned that it's important to have good eyesight. Absolutely. So if you're having trouble seeing, then you need to see the eye doctor for a checkup. Very good. I also learned that calling people names like four eyes may sound like a joke, but it can be very hurtful. Absolutely, so we must never call people hurtful names. Say, Nike, do you know when my teacher wore sunglasses to her class? No, Joey, why did your teacher wear sunglasses to her class? Because she has very bright students. <laughs> oh, say goodbye, Joey. Bye, everyone. Thank you for being my friend. And remember, boys and girls, the real magic is in you. Bye, everybody. <sighs> Saying names like four eyes, navy, mm, boy, sorry, that uh, sound like a joke may be harmful to, mm, oh, boy, sorry. It can be heart harmful. I don't know why I'm having trouble with that line. Say, Nike, uh, I forgot the joke. What's the joke? Like, what? Yeah. Okay. Is that what you want? Yeah. Okay. I also really like this one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Abracadabra is a production of the West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine and its Healthy Children's Initiative, working for a healthier West Virginia. Additional funding for this program is provided by Charleston Area Medical Center, the heart and soul of healthcare. Learn more about our 5210 campaign to keep kids healthy on the web at camc.org forward slash kids. Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield West Virginia offering affordable insurance products for all your needs. Find the right coverage for you. Visit highmarkbcbswv.com. We've got you covered. West Virginia Mutual Insurance Company, working every day with physicians and the entire healthcare community to improve public health. For more information, visit us online at wvmic.com. And by the Brick Street Foundation, Proud to support local organizations that make a positive difference, helping communities grow to their fullest potential. For more information, visit us online at brickstreetfoundation.org.